Praise the Lord. I am Rajoy Samuel, facilitator in Old Testament department. And this is a brief introduction to the course, Poetical Books and Wisdom Literature. And this course is for the class MD2. As we know, we are in an emergency situation. The mode of learning has significantly changed. Right from the word go, the dynamic leadership of New India Bible Seminary has taken proactive steps to tackle the situation. The leadership team as well as the faculty came together in various direct and indirect meetings to discuss on how to provide the best education for you and various technical and philosophical foundations were propped in you for the same. From the discussions it has been resolved that it is no longer the teacher coming to you directly into the class and working with you on a direct basis. But we work together, being in remote, through various internet platforms. A full-fledged Zoom class is not a feasible idea since all the students are not able to make it in a Zoom meeting. Nevertheless, we will also use the Zoom platform but can do it only for some 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, we will be concentrating mostly on emails and class WhatsApp group for the same course. So this kind of learning is called Emergency Remote Learning, ERL. Since we are not fully focusing on online platform for all the studies, but use various available facilities to learn in remote situation. And we are also in serious learning with the same commitment of an own campus studies and we will work hard to do the expected learning activities and participate in the class of seriously. Now, I would like to give you a brief introduction to the course. This course introduction will give you the purpose of the course and its benefits. We will shortly survey the main units of the subject and its contents as well. It also gives you an idea about what practical activity the facilitator uh, expects and the mode of assessment of your knowledge of the subject at the end of the course. When we finish this course, you will be able to understand the rich heritage of poetry and wisdom teachings of the people of Israel. It will help you to interpret and teach correctly those sections of the Hebrew Bible against this ancient vestation background and also against the specific literary style. You will be capable to find out the Christological as well as the theological and mythological implications of the poetical and wisdom literature and apply them to church and mission in India today. Let's briefly survey the content of the course. The whole course is divided into three units and we have some 12 weeks or three months to finish this course. The first unit discusses the poetry in the Hebrew Bible with its various characteristics. Next, we will survey the wisdom movement in ancient West Asia and the origin and development of wisdom in Israel. The wisdom movements of Egypt, Mesopotamia and other neighboring nations are discussed in this section. It also gives you ideas about the origin of wisdom in Israel from the tribal, school and court context. The second unit surveys the poetical books of Psalms Song of Songs and Lamentations it discusses the origin of Psalms, its title, authorship, classification, and theology. The book of Song of Songs is surveyed with reference to its date, authorship, canonicity, and various hermeneutical approaches with Christian implications. The book of Lamentations is introduced with its authorship, historical background, and content as well as theology. The third unit focuses on the wisdom books of Job, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. It provides an overview of the book of Job with authorship, date and background. Its basic hermeneutical issues are also dealt with. The book of Proverbs is introduced with its authorship, composition, formation and compilation, division of the book and theological themes. Finally. The book of Ecclesiastes is surveyed by giving the ideas about authorship, the purpose of writing, 
and its major themes. So that's all about the content of the course. Now let's move on to the assignments and exams. You are requested to prepare two major assignments. One reading report on the book of uh, C. Hazel Bullock. The book name is Introduction to Old Testament Poetic Books. The second assignment is a personal reflective paper. The topic is Importance of Poetical Books and Wisdom Literature in the Indian Mission and Church Context. This is a personal reflective paper. Both of these assignments should be minimum 1500 words each. 1500 words each. The required readings are The Wisdom Literature by Richard J. Clifford and An Introduction to the Old Testament Poetic Books by C. Hazel Bullock. Ebooks of these books will be mailed to you or it will be sent you as an email or in the WhatsApp. Other than that, you will have to do four engaging activities or learning activities related to the course in each unit which is to be furnished along with the unit completion. The exams will be open exam model where you answer the questions sent to you and you faithfully answer it and send back to the instructor by email. The email ID is rejoy.edu at gmail.com the assignments, read reports and engaging activities carry 50% of the total marks and the exams will carry 50% of the total weightage. So, looking forward to having a beneficial learning experience.